the Royal Flying Doctor Service is very excited to have She Maps work with us today. They have the opportunity to bring in three different school groups to work through some drone activities and get some understanding of spatial mapping, but also how to use the drones in our hangar. Uh, it was a really exciting day for us, but particularly because we're trying to encourage girls to get involved in STEM vocations. One of the things that I'm really interested in doing is changing the perceptions around who does STEM mm. and what STEM is. And there are so many opportunities in, in central areas and capital cities for students to undertake these types of programs. Mm. But the people who miss out are those in regional areas. And to partner with an organisation like RFDS to be able to get out to regional areas and to share the love, basically, mm. that's, that's so important because the only way that we can actually change perceptions about what STEM is and who does it is to is to capture a lot more people mm. and so this is a vehicle for us to be able to do that. Mm. So we're looking forward to in the next six months or so to have she maps come out on our field day clinics and that's where a team of RFDS staff will go out to rural and remote areas and we can ex have the same experience for those kids out there who often as you say miss out on these opportunities. What they allow us to do is is to put technology in hands in the hands of the consumer and we're not just consuming data and allowing other others to to get it for us we're able to do that ourselves and particularly in remote and regional areas where they're not just going to get a standard aerial survey by an aerial survey aircraft over the, the environment in which maybe they're trying to protect or in which they live, to be able to use a drone to collect that information for themselves brings power to those communities. And I just don't think that there's any other way that, that you can really have the ability to collect that sort of information without having drones in your hands. There's a range of possibilities for the RFDS engaging with drone technologies. It may be delivering medicines out to rural remote areas, it may be observed areas where there's been some sort of natural disaster and it gives us a bird's eye view of what's actually happened uh, but also the ability to, to video and, and provide support for someone who isn't actually physically there they can see what's going on so there's a range of different possibilities but of course it's making sure that it doesn't deprive the rural and remote people of healthcare but also supplement what we currently do.